or what happened? Like, uh, dude, I am so out of the loop with the Taylor shit. So, like, she did she release an album or something? Is that what happened? Is that why people are like fucking going crazy? Don't know, don't care. Are people are people gonna say stay out of white people's business right now to me? I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn a, I'm trying to learn about Taylor Swift. I'm trying to learn about Taylor Swift. It's like, yo, stay out of white people's business, dude. This is white people's business. Jake Gyllenhaal got dragged through the dirt. Wait, hold on. Uh, trigger warning, Steve Bannon. So what happened? What's the what's the tea, sis? Can someone give me the tea, sis? Taylor Swift was dating Jake Gyllenhaal. She may remade her album about her three month relationship with Jake Gyllenhaal. Poor Jake Gyllenhaal, dude. The fuck? So Jake Gyllenhaal dated her for three months, broke up with her, and now people are fucking upset in 2021 because of what he did like 10 years ago or whenever the fuck they dated? He was a bad boyfriend? Oh no, did I just say something that's going to get me fucking canceled? <laughs> he gaslit her, bro. He was a shitty boyfriend. Bad take. He was not a good dude. Dude, I have I have no dog in this fight. I'm sorry. He was gaslighting. He also made a short film about him. Holy fuck. He dated her when she was 19. And she remade a song about him in a 10-minute version calling him a predator. What? What? <laughs> she made a short film? What the fuck? Can I even watch this? Bro. Okay. So here's the thing that is like, dude, SNL is so fucking, I just don't want to watch that. I, 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 everything else. Okay. So. I took over my boyfriend's Twitch account for this law. Okay, so here's a question I have. What's the, like, isn't this kind of like double jeopardy? You know what I mean? Like, if you already made an album being like, you were a shitty boyfriend, like, it's over. You, you did that 10 years ago, okay? You did the album. Like, it doesn't work in a court of law. You can't just, like, relitigate after you fucking did that. You can't double dip. At that point, you're doing it for content. You know what I mean? You're not like... I feel like you're not doing it because you have unhealed wounds at that point. You're doing it for fucking content. And I'm sure that a lot of you who have also gone through like shitty relationships or whatever have fucking uh, probably feel like, oh no, this is like very real. Fuck you. You don't understand. But like... like she ran out of breakups. <laughs> She's remaking all of them, not just this one. Uh-oh. So all of her exes are about to get the smoke? Is that what that, is that, what that means? Uh-oh, John Mayer. Watch out. Sammy AHF, thank you for the thank you for the subs. She now owns her music. Re-releasing, so she owns the rights to her music. She has to re-release the music anyway. Oh, okay. One of the lines was, I'll get older, but your lovers will, lovers will stay my age. So that kind of hints at what her problem was, lol. Plus, it was from the vault of old versions. She's re-recording. Okay, I got that part. So she now is like re-recording all of her fucking music because the recording company withheld her rights from her most iconic music from her. Got that part. Releasing that. That's fine. But like, she's also adding on to it, I guess. And adding on to it in a way where like... Adding on to it in a way where... So she's like, you know, saying, damn, Dylan O'Brien, dude, killing it. Good for him.